everyone's been doing their traffic light collection videos lately, and I figured I would, uh, figured I'd join the party here. We'll start with, uh, well, may as well start with the Siemens Miller from the UK. I got it set up to do the red plus yellow before it turns green, and my Eagle and slash LFE transit signal here as well, with the louver on it for the red. There we go. Uh, next to that is my McCain PV with some Fortran snow sentries on it. Even though it has uh, halogens in the back, it uh, you know does the trick. I, it, I saw it one time in Ottawa. I thought it was interesting. Uh, next to that is my uh, Neart slash GE down at the bottom there. And I got one of those Dirty Light flashing countdown timers as well. I saw a three-section pedestrian signal like this in Quebec one time and wanted to replicate it. And then my, of course, you got the ASI over here, Krauss Heinz type DT up there. Gonna put it on an angle here so we can see them work. You heard my UK pedestrian button in the background there. So that's flashing again. Let's let you know that it's going to change back to the uh, transit. Got the weight coming on for that. And since we're over here, we may as well take a peek in the cabinet. I got my uh, got my X1 into light. Got my Polar Navigator CCU over here. Uh, MMU 16LE with the uh, custom removable jumpers for the program card. Thanks to Sean. A lot of things in this collection that will be brought to you by Sean. Uh, detector rack. Just kind of making it work here. Uh, I don't even have loop detectors. I just have them plugged in. Got the iTerrace plugged in. Again, just... I got things plugged in, but they're not really doing anything right now. 3M's not doing anything. I got a... 3M Opticom receiver back here, but I don't have it hooked up yet. And I got the GPS receiver up here, which is powered on, but I don't have it set up because I don't have the software to do it, unfortunately. But I guess if a uh, fire truck drives by my house, I don't know, maybe it could work, but I uh, highly doubt it. I got a... Uh, here's the navigator card over here. There's the button going there. You see the little moving cone on the bottom as well. Alt load switches. That's the that's the unit there for the UK pedestrian button there. A little messy down at the bottom, but just uh, don't have to pay too much attention to that. Anyway, small cabinet, but I, I make it work. My toy traffic light over here. Just got it wired right into the cabinet that so has flasher sockets, so that's why the light's flashing. And then over here we got my, uh, you can see the fast flashing green Gentral. And the 3M model 131. Fiber optic walk, don't walk. TCT and a Fortran poly housing on the bottom for the countdown timer and then you got your flashing yellow arrow on the gentral say so i could probably honestly say that's the only one in the world like that got my in infranor no parking signals which were popular in quebec city in the 1990s now they just use a standard uh fortran housing with a led no parking Got my uh, Marble Light MPS 20. Walk, don't walk. My Econo Light Canadian Brown and Man and Captain Timer. Couple Polaris Bulldog 3s, brand new. Got my uh, inline 4, inline 5 signals over here. 
couple strobe units on it. Um, again, got them converted to LED because the strobes were broken. There you go. Got my double red square signals from, they're actually from Prince Edward Island. I'll watch that cycle in a moment. My uh, fiber optic tri-modal signal over here. Got that from the Angus L. McDonald Bridge. Mark Four Industries Limited. From 1999. This has a separate controller inside of it that will, uh, you'll see it cycle as I progress through the, uh, through this presentation here. Uh, right above it, we have the Eagle X. A couple smileys in it, but figured I'd, I know they're not original to this signal, but uh, this is my only four way signal, so. Over here, we have the Streamline with a blue LED in it. Emergent, I use it as an emergency signal and will stay active for the whole cycle until this side turns red, and then the overlap turns green, the Chinese arrow. old cabinet down here in the bottom. I haven't found a use for that yet. And we're just gonna wait for this to cycle through again. I almost forgot to get the Reloom style wink matic over here. Again, the eyes were added in, thanks to Sean. And below it, I have the Econolite bicycle signal, which will turn green in a moment. There you go. And a couple of Econolites kicking around, but I got all those for free. And over here, we have the inline four LFE. Inline 5, Chapel Hill, with an Econolite bottom section. So the red arrow is going to come on, which also has a strobe on it. You got your straight and right arrows over here. And I have the reds separately tied uh, to each phase, so they don't come on together. That red will go red, that turns red with the arrow, and this will, uh, with the straight arrow, and this one turns red after the right arrow changes. And we're gonna make our way over to the other side of the basement. Got my countdown timer clock. Some three McCain housings. I just didn't put the visors on. Couple Polara navigators. N2 legacy models. Not really, though they uh, discontinued these ones. This one's just about to change. So I got the Canadian Melody walk and don't walk set up on this right now. So as I mentioned, TCT Fortran combination going on over here. Model 131 3M. It's a Fortran backplate, but I just kind of have it sitting there for now. Again, the GE Gentral. I believe it's a Generation 1. Don't let the white tape fool you. I added that on myself just to make it look a little more vintage. You can hear the cuckoo from the other navigator on the other side. Safetran railroad signals here, and I just have 120 volt bulbs in them, uh, halogen bulbs. I did a conversion just because I don't have a 12 volt setup. Uh, two Eagle flatbacks, not rotted. Nine inch walk, don't walk. And a 128812, the right turn arrow. And then over here of my ICC, used to be neon. I do have a neon hand man, but I don't have that installed right now. The walk, don't walk used to be neon, but I've had it changed to LED just because the tubes were broken, unfortunately. 
Gets the job done, though. And I believe this is a GE street light, but uh, don't quote me on that. I, I just have a LED bulb in it and a socket adapter. And other than that, that pretty much, uh, pretty much sums up the collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just uh, don't hesitate to ask.